a little black book and a cell phone. That's all Khwaja needs to summon hundreds. He claims he provides what the government has not delivered. The area now has an adequate gas supply because Khwaja brought together a mob that blocked the railway lines till supplies were restored. It looked like a mass protest, but it was brought together by this influential man. Men like him are known as patrons or deradars of the area. They often use religion as a rallying cry. Khwaja insists he works for the good of community, but admits others can exploit mob power for their own purposes. People have personal feuds and problems that they turn into religious issues and instigate mobs, and violence ensues after that. Any lie could be spread that a certain person, for example, has burnt the pages of the Quran or something like that. Nobody is going to verify that information. They will just follow it and gather a mob. Last year, a violent crowd here in Gujamala burnt down the houses of the minority Ahmadiyya community after accusations of blasphemy. Three little girls and their grandmother died in the fire. The survivors are too afraid to ever come back home. In this country, it is not unusual for a large crowd of curious onlookers to gather around what they consider to be unusual. As you can see, a large crowd of spectators is already gathering here. Now, it doesn't take much for a large crowd of harmless spectators to become a potentially violent mob. All it takes is a catalyst in the form of a few instigators, and gathering those instigators has become big business here. The BBC got rare access to one of the dens that claims to be running a mob for hire business. As I walked in, a business deal was already in the making. Tell him to bring all the money in cash. It's not a free assignment. We need to pay for all the men, the transport, the weapons. That takes hard cash. The mob boss, as he is called here, gave me a list of his services. Anything is possible at the right price. You can get mobs for anything. We offer them to religious organizations like Sippa Sahaba or for any kind of work with the Christian community. Separate charges for political protests and rallies. There are men available here for everything at the right price. We found the individual who plays the part of a middleman for these transactions. The clients come to him, he connects them to the right mob. Let's say there is this man who wants to get a road blocked or want the government to accept his demands. He calls us and demands that he needs 300 to 400 men. For that, we get daily wagers who sit in city squares and we pay them 1,000 rupees each and give them assurance that if they get arrested, we will bail them out. The police say they're often helpless because alleged mob sponsors are well connected. It is, it is so because there is no protection to police officers. Once you react to such a mob and uh, if uh, a mishap takes place or people get injured, they would go to courts, they would get cases registered against you while you were performing a lawful duty. In a country where few trust the authorities, it's easy for mobsters to harness the frustration of the people for their own ends. Many say justice doesn't happen in police stations or courtrooms, it happens on the street. But its victims, who have no access to a fair trial, are left to gather the ashes of their lives after the mob has passed. Sabah Itazaz, BBC News, Gujarawala.